Hey, how's it going everyone? Taze in here, bringing you some more awesome news updates regarding .hackGU and .hackGU last recode. So firstly, we now have a confirmation that the European release date for last recode for PS4 and PC is also the same as that in the Americas. So it's also November 3rd. This was confirmed by Bandai Namco Europe uh, releasing, re-releasing I should say, the announcement uh, release date trailer, this time dubbed in Japanese for the European audience with English subbing. And yes, it's great that they're getting on November 3rd too because it was not confirmed when the American release date was released. Now, in regards to other PAL regions and territories like Australia and New Zealand, usually it follows suit that whatever the European release date is, is also the release date in those territories. So it will just be a matter of sort of finding out what the retailers in other PAL regions will list on their web stores. But I'm quite confident it should be on November 3rd for throughout the English speaking areas. Secondly, if you're not aware, an official .hack Twitter page was opened up in June of this year to celebrate the 15th anniversary and the upcoming last recode and they recently hit 10,000 followers. So what was awesome is to celebrate the 10,000 followers, they released a brand new anniversary artwork with Tokyo, Kai and Aseo uh, as a big thank you with 10,000 followers and there is an awesome message with that. So I'm gonna read that out now and they said, achieve 10,000 followers. Thank you to you all for always supporting us. With a feeling of our gratitude, here's an illustration present to commemorate the 10,000 followers. Thank you for your continued support for the Dot .hack series. This is awesome. And one thing that stands out to me is, so this is the official Twitter uh, page in Japan. But not, although that they've written the message in Japanese, the thank you illustration, they've written thank you in English. So it sort of makes me feel like, you know, this isn't just something that they're directing towards the Japanese audience. It's the global audience they're saying thank you towards. So that's an awesome feeling because again, you know, dot .hack is something that is becoming quite popular, especially with the announcements of the last record, but it's always had its own sort of niche popularity in Western and other regions of the world, you know, it's just now that we're seeing Last Ruka coming out and we're going to hopefully be getting more dot .hack merchandise, more dot .hack sort of um, communication and, and stuff. It'll be awesome to sort of see how big, you know, the dot .hack community can grow from here on. Really excited for that. And if you haven't yet followed them on Twitter, go check them out. It is dot .hack official. It's spelled D-O-T for dot. And this is one of the greatest ways to get your messages out to them, your thank yous, you know, your excitement for the game, as well as letting them know what you want to see. You know, if you really want to see a remaster of the original series, if you want to see new games, let them know because this is directly going to them so they can get all that information. They can see what, how their fan base feels about certain things. And basically, I think this is one of the most powerful ways in modern times with, you know, communicating your interest in games, your your desires for certain remasters, etc. We can do that now, whereas previously it wasn't something that was as possible. Thirdly, as part of the upcoming Tokyo Game Show Expo 2017, taking place from September 21st to the 24th of this year, Bandai Namco revealed that they will be hosting a .hack GU Last Rico trailer, live stream, and stage event. So it will be really cool to find out what information we get from this. I feel like we will be getting a lot more information we will be seeing gameplay footage, we'll be able to analyze a lot more and really see, you know, sort of how not only the remaster will be compared to the original versions, but also, you know, what volume four will really entail with how different it will look, you know, sort of what what we are in store for story-wise as well. A cool quick note is during .hack G last recode's first official playability to the public at C3 AFA uh, last month in Tokyo, there were three booths that the people could play from and it turned out that it was that popular on the first day that they added an extra booth for more players to play on the next day. And although this is something small, this is really cool because it sort of helps us gauge a bit the popularity of the game even prior to its release. Fourthly, we now have new information and images of the new enemy coming to Volume 4 Reconnection. So according to a different translation, it is actually called the Galta, the Shadow Calamity. It is considered a huge mysterious monster that eats up any noticeable data such as PCs and objects, which makes it grow. That's really interesting to see, you know, sort of how, whether this is a boss that will actually show up through multiple points of the game and change as you face it each time. It apparently will have more dreadful hidden abilities to be revealed, so it'll be interesting to sort of see what they are. Apparently it awaits at the innermost depths of the dungeon that you're led through based on the instruction of the new character Kusabira. So it appears that there is going to be some sort of story relation of this monster. It's not just going to be a new enemy in the game. 
And what's interesting is by the pictures we're looking at, Haseo is still in his X form at the time. So the enemy actually may play a story role in Haseo upgrading to his fifth form in order to defeat this enemy or combat it. As I said, if this is an enemy that will show up throughout the game, it will be, maybe this is one of the reasons he upgrades to the fifth form in order to combat it. And lastly, we now have a better look at the PS4 theme for Dot Hack Duty Last Rico, which is being included as part of the premium edition of the Japanese release. So as you can see here, I like looking at the XMB uh, menu, both at the top and the bottom, you have different images. At the bottom, it's cool to see that we've got, you know, that image of uh, Sayo standing atop of the, uh, in the cathedral, on top of where Aura's statue used to be. And you can see the triage etching in it where the epitaph descriptions used to be. I love that place, you know, Hidden Forbidden Holy Ground. There's a lot of story relevance to this area going right back to the beginning of the Dot Hack series. And again, I really hope that we get this theme basically as a, not just something that comes with, you know, the English versions uh, of potential pre-orders, you know, the premium edition if we get an English release, but something that we could actually hopefully be able to purchase on the PS4 store because I really love the look at this. I love that it appears to be a dynamic theme. It changes between different parts of the X and B menu. And again, I just want to get as much dot hack sort of stuff that we can get because it's, it's just so rare that we get this and for it to be so long, you know, to have received much regarding dot hack and to now get so much i'm just i really hope we just keep getting more and more and more but yeah anyways there we have it for some news updates what's also awesome is we're now starting to get some more images regarding all of the eight epitaph transformations in Haseya's fifth form so what i'm going to do as a follow-up to this is i'm going to do a dedicated video which is going to showcase the images and go through the description of every single transformation and the details we know of it to date so that way we can sort of get a good digest of what's going on and then we can sort of build upon that as we learn more and stuff from there so anyways i hope you enjoyed let me know thoughts below you know some of these things i've mentioned um new things that are coming sort of what are your thoughts on what we're getting anyways as always thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and until next video stay spot on